Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to what is my absolute favorite type of content on YouTube, a channel update. <laughs> now, jokes aside, though, uh, we're just here to talk about the current state of the channel, what we're going to be doing with it going forward, etc, etc. Because the channel is dying, Article 13 has killed it, everything is to blame on Article 13, and it's not related to Red Dirt Online and GTA Online, they're not being all that much interested in anymore, because, you know, that's just how it goes. If you're built your channel around rockstar titles and nothing else because that's just what i do you know but having said that it's okay i still enjoy making content and all that stuff and i will continue to do so but let's talk a, lot, a little bit about what's going on and what are my plans with the channel so you get more updated about what's going on etc etc so having said that first thing i kind of should touch on is the sponsored videos that being the loot crate videos i am basically going to upload every single month loot crate approached me a couple of months ago saying hey uh, you want to start working together i was like yeah sure loot box is a really cool concept i really do think it's a very cool idea and all that things so i was like why not you know let's see what it's all about and uh, you know have a look into it and you know did some research online and that's like hey you know they've really improved over the years so you know let's uh, let's give it a shot and so far i was really impressed with the first loot crate that i did get and i always do feel that if i were to get a loot crate i'm like hey this is not really that great and i'll obviously be saying that as well like i don't feel like just because it's a sponsored video essentially and i benefit from the fact that if you guys get loot crates as well i get a kickback from it i just don't want to sit here and start lying to you guys just for the sake of you know getting a, a couple of pennies that that's not what i am all about you know like, at the end of the day i thought it was something interesting and it will also be good for the channel in the long run as well uh, because obviously, you know, if I make a little bit of cash out of it, I can justify spending more time on YouTube and all the things. And maybe even down the line, that inevitable dream of doing this thing full time will finally come into fulfillment. But, you know, Article 13 is going to happen in two years. So that dream is completely fucking dead. I am crying my eyes out. In terms of other content, though, the review series that I started doing on Monday, and the response to that has been really great. Uh, I really enjoyed making it as well. Uh, for the first time ever, I even wrote a script, something that I typically don't do. I just kind of have a general idea of what I want to talk about. I turn on the microphone and I get going because that's just what I do. I've been doing it the same year for years. But this time I felt there were so many things that I wanted to cover that a script was in order. And I think it worked out very well. Uh, people seem to really enjoy what I do and a lot of the points that I did make in that video uh, were, uh, you know, saying, hey, you know, I agree. I haven't read all the comments just yet because there's a lot of, you know, long comments and things like that. But I do want to make like a, like a, you know, every so often I think, I kind of want to dive into all the comments and kind of like see what everyone else was saying. And kind of, you know, maybe, I don't know how many episodes I will make, but I, what I do want to say is that I have a couple more episodes for sure that I have in mind, like progressions and obviously the payouts and also touch on races because like obviously racing is a big thing in GTA and obviously, you know, on adversary modes. There's, there's plenty to talk about inside of that series and I really want to take my time and like take a step back and look at what GTA Online was what it has become and like make feedback out of that and hopefully you guys are encouraged enough as well to go to the feedback page and leave your feedback and hopefully we'll be able to maybe even get some changes done to the existing gta online and if not to gta 6 because that's really what the end goal really is to me the whole reason why i'm making that series is because i want to see if we can try and get as much feedback as possible towards rockstar so you can make gta 6 into you know less of a mess that gta online has become speaking of things that turn into an absolute mess my live streams not that it actually turns into an actual mess but it turned into a fun one i've been seeing a lot of people that you just come over from youtube and you stick around and i really appreciate those people as well uh, but, you know, if you haven't ever really checked out any of my live streams or even my Twitch highlights, I mean, if anything, my Twitch highlights will show you what kind of dumb shit happens inside of my streams. But generally, it's just, you know, we kind of hang out, we just play some video games and, you know, sometimes some really questionable things start happening. I flip my shit, we laugh about it, and we wait until it happens again. Uh, I, <laughs> I think that's probably one of the better ways to describe it. But overall, I just really still enjoy streaming on Twitch. So if you ever want to check out the live stream, on Tuesdays, I stream Red Dead Online. On Thursdays, I stream GTA Online. And in the weekends, I kind of do whatever. I've been 
looking into incorporating some more uh, 5M, like especially Project Homecoming. I did a little stream on that on uh, Sunday. I had a really good time. It's a very properly good ser server and there's a lot of cool things that are there to do, especially that random mall. For those who are familiar with Bruffy's channel, you've probably seen it on there a couple of times already. And I really had a great time. So I think I'm definitely going to throw it into the regulation. Blackout has been something that I've been really enjoying as well. Uh, it's, it's also something that's really interesting and fun to stream, especially if I uh, got Josh on. Uh, typically, it's been seeming that, you know, uh, every uh, Sunday when Josh is available, we just both hop on and just, you know, stream that for a couple of hours. Cause you just know that if, you know, Josh joins you, you're going to have some good laughs, which is, you know, something that I want to try and see if I can do some more, you know, get some more people on, you know, have a little bit of a, you know, just mess about and just have a good time. Because I feel that especially if I'm streaming, you know, I, I don't I don't take it all too serious, you know, I just try to have a good time. And I, and I really think that's just what it all should be about, you know, just play some video games, have a good time, have a laugh and just don't take it all too serious. And obviously, if there's new games that come out or just any random thing, like I just really, some most of the time, I just stream whatever. Just like Tuesdays and Thursdays, I kind of stick to the GTA and Red Dead because that's what the people sometimes want to have too. And I feel it's only fair, you know. My majority of my content on YouTube is Red Dead and GTA, so I should stream that as well. So if you ever want to join any of that, link is always to my Twitch page in the description down below. And also make sure that if you have Amazon Prime, to link it with your Twitch account so you get Twitch Prime. And you can subscribe to my Twitch channel for free. Anyways, quickly moving on from that shameless plug. Uh, one thing that I also want to touch on is that uh, in terms of uh, content, I think I want to try and see if I can get some more entertaining things going on rather than just like a lot of news things and discussion. I definitely want to see if I can upload at least one Honest Car commercial every week. And I'm potentially thinking of even bringing back Forgotten Vehicles as well. Uh, I know that that series has been on hiatus for a very long time, uh, but I you know, I want to see if I can maybe see if I can make it a little bit more interesting, you know, maybe get some more interesting facts or some more unique and interesting vehicles that really were just forgotten about. And I mean, it's definitely just a series that essentially is endless content. But what I do realize is that forgotten vehicles and honest car commercials, I do want to see that I can get those two series like really be different from each other. Because one of the reasons why I stopped doing forgotten vehicles was because I really felt that their series were too close to each other. Obviously, the Honest Car commercials are a lot more focused on having a quick laugh for a minute, and the you know Forgotten Vehicles are a bit more about the nostalgia and all. It was also like the Easter eggs thing. I'm not entirely sure if we should bring back the Easter eggs because it kind of typically turn into you know everyone starting to spew random bullshit, hoping for the best. Uh, but I also thought that was a bit of an interesting, uh, you know, thing to the series. So I guess I have to kind of think about that. No, no promises on the Forgotten Vehicles, but just some thoughts that I was doing. Like especially more skits and just more some, some more fun comedy orientated videos instead of, you know, something like the weekly gaming news roundup. Because yes... I've tried that for like a good five or six weeks, but it doesn't really seem to be too much interest in the whole thing. And to be honest, if there's not really that much interest in a series like the Weekly Gaming News Roundup, then I'd rather just be uploading something else for that is actually, you know, something that people are generally interested in. Like I appreciate people watching it, it a lot, and like I really do. Uh, but if I see that week by week, less and less people give a shit about it, I just probably have to just pull the plug and try something different. Uh, mainly because, obviously, I think the main critique that I have heard from it is because, you know, what's the point? I've already read all the news anyway. So um, I think what I want to do of that instead is probably like see if there's like a big story or anything like that and kind of start a discussion if there's like either some controversy or anything like that something interesting to talk about rather than just say hey here's a bunch of trailers hey there's borderlands 3 like i think on a channel like mine you know i'd rather just have you know instead of that like an honest car commercial on a saturday rather than just talking about weak old news, if that makes sense. It sounds a bit stupid if you bring it like that. I did enjoy making them, but I think I'd rather just be making something that's more, you know, more fun or, or more funny to make rather than, you know, sit here and, and work on that for hours because they took a while to make. And if I see that people don't really enjoy them all that much, then, you know, I gotta consider the channel, especially because right now it, it is actually in a decline I'm losing subscribers, 
Uh, so I want to try and see if I can turn it around a little bit, make some more entertaining content. And even though that I'm losing subscribers, that the current subscribers that I still do have do get some more funny, entertaining videos that are, I guess, more shareable and just more, you know, more fun to watch and even rewatchable rather than week old news. So if you made it to the end of the video, thank you. Uh, I could also give you a TLDR. Uh, <laughs> not stupid. Let's do a TLDR at the end of the video. You dumbass. Anyways, with all that said and with all that done, I do want to ensure everyone that I will be keeping on keeping on because, you know, I still enjoy making videos. So why not continue, right? Uh, it's it's always just been a hobby and I'm just glad people are even watching it also if you do and you do check out all the uh, video things that I do upload or even only some of them I really do appreciate it thank you all so very much for doing so but I'm going to stop rambling on now thank you also very much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed I guess subscribe for not not for more channel updates because I don't know I just felt like I had to do one to keep everyone in check what was going on but Hey, enough rambling. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you all later.